there really isn't such a thing as a child. There's eternal souls. We have been here before. Okay. We've lived here before. This is not the first time we're in this world. Every one of us has a reincarnation of once, twice, or even ten times before this. Which means that each time we didn't complete our mission. So we had to come back here. As, which is partial punishment and partial mercy. Which means that if you came into a family that's full of wicked people, that's your test. That's your test. You deserved your test. Whatever you have, you deserve. Which means, if anyone in the world has any form of suffering, any form of suffering, they need to understand this. There's no such thing as suffering without sin. But not just sin by him. So let's say you find out one day, chas v'shalom, a guy finds out he's very sick. Finds out he's very sick. Has one of these diseases that doesn't go away. Now, of course, he's suffering. But everybody else is suffering also. Mm-hmm. The mother, the father, the brothers, the sisters, the friends, the teachers, the students, the co-workers... All these people also suffering. My friend is dying. My friend is this. Everybody's suffering. What is Hashem telling you here? They all deserve it also. It's not just him. Everyone deserves it. Everyone made some type of sin to deserve the punishment that they're getting. No such thing as suffering without sin. This is the real truth. Why? Because if someone did not deserve it, out of the entire circle, you have one guy that's suffering has a, a decree on him to get a disease. Chas shalom, get a disease. This is the decree in Shemaim. His circle is 50 people. There's one guy out of the 50. There's 49 reshaim, 49 wicked people. One guy, tzaddik. One guy, mamash, amazing. Hashem loves him. Amazing righteous person. Doesn't deserve the suffering. Just for him, Hashem wouldn't punish this guy. Just for him. Just for him. Just for the guy that's righteous. Not for the wicked guy that deserved the decree. Just for the guy. For the tzaddik that he knows. That he would hear, oh yeah, my friend from college. My friend from the yeshiva before I did tshuva. My friend from kindergarten. My neighbor. My brother, chas v'shalom. Anything. Somebody that's connected to me. Suffering, I'm going to suffer. I don't deserve suffering. Hashem says I don't deserve suffering. Just for that tzaddik, he won't suffer. That's how perfect Hashem is. Which means that everyone that's involved in a story, there's a reason why Hashem is paying him this, this suffering. Sometimes, it's just, all of the time, it's to their benefit. Because it's better to suffer here. For 70 years, like Job suffered, than one hour in Gehenom. Of course, it's if there's no suffering without sin. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.